the whole ombre setup. I've never used this. Oh, don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I love this couch. I can't be better. to come into the cave of wonders. I didn't know what to say. Hello, come in. Go the way when you see me. I'm rolling with the LGBT. Oh my God, this is probably my number one requested video. This is why I'm so nervous because it's my number one requested video. I don't want to let you guys down. But today I decided we're going to be doing a house tour. I'm gonna go so in depth. I'm gonna try and tell you where everything is from. I also wanted to give a huge shout out because I worked with this designer. Her name is Amanda Aaron. She's here in Toronto. She did an amazing job. It took so long to get it done, but I'm so happy with how it turned out and I hope that you guys love it too. But yeah, let's start off this mirror. Where do you think it's from? Ikea. Ooh, I literally just have it. I have it so that I can see my outfit right before I leave. It's very much short person friendly. I know. <laughs> I gotta put me first. That's why. It just like, I always take photos right in front of here and it's like clean white backdrop. I love the door. I love how tall it is. And Blue can like look through the little crevice. She's so cute. She likes looking at the squirrels. We have our closet, which is so messy. I was literally like, are you about to show that? <laughs> I'm not gonna show it, it's so messy, it's kind of embarrassing. But come, also my dress does not enable me to walk like a normal human being. I'm literally walking like this. You're like so, the Kendall Jenner TikTok. Do like, you see that? No. She's at the wedding, her lights are yeah. like. Yeah, look at I'm Kendall Jenner. <laughs> but here's the house. It's super open concept, which I love about it. My old house was not like that. The thing that was the most important for me with the house was good lighting, open concept. And I feel like this just met all of the requirements. We have the upstairs and the downstairs, but unfortunately, I'm just gonna go through the main living area or the main floor because that's where everything is done. All the furniture is done. Upstairs we have to work on. Downstairs we have to work on. I didn't want to wait until we decorated everything. Let's just get into this. <laughs> First thing that you see, it's the wine rack. Everybody always comments about the wine racks and then also the chairs. Everybody in my comment section, I posted this TikTok and it went viral. There's like two and a half million views on it. Everyone's like, where are your chairs from? I'm so sorry to say that they were custom made. We got these regular chairs and we found fabrics. I literally approved every single fabric. I'm gonna try and see if I could find samples or like photos of the samples, but we tried to find fabrics that were good for eating because I spill so much. And we have this white one. Are you kidding me? I pass all the time and I spill so much. So we tried to find fabrics that were easy to clean. These ones are amazing and we have the whole ombre set up Everyone loves them and I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't know where they're from But we did get them all upholstered. The table is from anthropology I love the look of a clear table and I feel like you could see the chairs more It gives more emphasis on the chairs the little gold and in the inside. I'm obsessed I tried to not do too much anthropology. But you'll see the other anthropology thing. Or wait, is it anthropology? Where's the cloud couch from? Restoration hardware, right? I don't, I don't know <laughs> okay, Google. What's the cloud couch from? I think it's restoration hardware. Yeah, it's restoration hardware. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I got them all mixed up. The mirror is from anthropology. Sorry, I'm all mixed up. I'm all mixed up. The table is from restoration hardware. Try to not get too much restoration hardware because I know that everybody gets their stuff from restoration hardware. I have this and then something over there that you probably know. I'm pretty sure that this lighting fixture came with the house. I'm like 50% sure that it did. You have these like little flowers, which I love. I can't keep flowers alive for the life of me, so I need it. <laughs> to have fake ones. We just got this candle. Look at I love the huge fat candles. Oh my god. I love anything fat. Fat candles, fat blue, fat food, everything. I love fat. This candle is everything. And over here, a lot of the comments were actually talking about this too. They're like, where did you get your art pieces? Where do you because I have another art piece over there? But everyone's like, where'd you get your art pieces? The abstract one. Brianna and I actually made it. And I made a whole YouTube vlog about it and a TikTok about it. But we literally just made it. We bought the canvas from Michaels for I think like $50 and then we bought acrylic paint. I think we got a pack for like 30 or 40 or $50 I forget how much it was and then paint brushes We just got those those things that look like forks or the things that look like that knives I feel like you, you just get plastic knives and do it. We just splattered the paint everywhere and I love how it turned out 
it ties in all of the colors of the room you'll see this dresser a lot of the pieces are only from trade suppliers so you can't just buy them anywhere but I'm pretty sure that my mom had one of these and I'm pretty sure that you could thrift something super 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 similar I feel like the thrift store is so underrated with furniture and we also um, just added these little tassels I'm pretty sure that these are from Amazon I'm pretty sure but I just think that it's super cute it's a lot of storage I asked for a lot of oh that's Brianna stuff <laughs> It's just a lot of storage. I have all my Christmas stuff in there. Oh my god. We have to do a Christmas house tour when it's Christmas because I go crazy. Oh my god. Aw. The bridal shower. My cousin had her bridal shower here. <laughs> and it's literally in here. But lots of storage. We have all the candy jars because you know what? People could say that I am super childish. My house is super childish, but I don't give a f I'm 24 years old. I'm gonna decorate it however the f I want. And this is my house. If you have anything to say about it, then get the f off the YouTube channel. Just kidding. You can stay. You stay if you want. But I'm pretty sure these jars, you can get these jars anywhere. Home Sense, Amazon, anything. Fill them with little aesthetic candies. Everybody always steals them. I'm like about to hairspray them so that no one eats them. Honestly, I don't like them. Really? I don't like, like Alex eats them and I don't. I feel like they're so old. They're gonna get like kind of yeah. hard. That's, they're all hard. It's only for decoration. But these are the jelly beans. These are the best ones. You should see everyone eats all their jelly beans. But <laughs> I got this on Amazon. It's like a little, um, uh, little pegboard. Someone's calling you. <laughs> Not the sneaky link. Oh, hey, I'm filming. Can I talk to you in one minute? Bye. Who's that? What is this? Kylie Jenner? <laughs> Keep it up with Kylie? They always say that on what's her show? Life of Kylie. Yeah. What is it? Life of Kylie? Wait, what? They always it? say that. They're like, this is name rhyme with feet. <laughs> Yeah, there was something like that about Pete. They're like, who, who are you texting? <laughs> but I have the Wi-Fi password just to make it easier. Bill Y the Science Fi is our Wi-Fi. <laughs> but this is just so whenever people come over, they could just see it. Super easy. But now you can share Wi-Fi, so you don't even need it. But, you know, whatever. This picture, I actually kind of wanted to put it up here. I feel like it's kind of empty over here, and it could add more. So I think I might hang that up. I just wanted to film the house door. And then we have a little picnic basket because it's just cute. Over here, we have... Have the little living area. So this is actually from Anthropology. It's the iconic mirror that everybody has. Sierra has it. I have a dupe version in my LA apartment, but this is the real one. And you're like, Adeline, Anthropology doesn't deliver to Canada. Oh, bitch. I wish that you could tell. I could tell you how I got it. I literally delivered it to what is it called? Cross border pickup. Cross border pickup. I got it delivered to cross border pickup. It, they deliver somewhere in New York, and then they deliver it from New York to Canada, and they delivered it straight to my house. So if you guys are in Canada, and you ever need anything that doesn't ship to Canada, cross border pickups. This is from Anthropology. This rug I ordered on Wayfair. I'm pretty sure that these chairs are from Structube. But how cute are they? Blue loves these. And like when we have the blinds open, she likes to look out. Look at the S Q U I R R E L S. It's triggering. I'm like so tempted to trigger her right now. <laughs> she likes to look at the squirrels. Huh? What did you say? I don't know what you said. Squirrels? <laughs> <laughs> My dad taught her that. My dad taught her that. That's why she's like that. But struck tube, Wayfair. I'm pretty. I have no idea where these are from. These orange things. But this is this area. I like this area. It's cute for sitting. And then over here. Oh. This is the kitchen. It's my favorite part of the whole house. When I toured this house, this is the main focal point. Like imagine this house empty. It was literally a big white box with the most perfect kitchen. I'm obsessed with this style kitchen. It's just kind of, what would you say the style is? It's kind of like I don't even know. modern farmhouse. Would it be farmhouse? I don't know. It just gives me like clean. Yeah. Like clean, white, marble. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with the island. The island sold it for me. The island is my favorite part. I'm obsessed with it. This cutting board I got from Ikea. It's the best. I don't remember how much it was, but Sierra, I'm pretty sure, has the same one too. Um, and it's just big and nice, and you would never know that it's from Ikea. My dad got me flowers. Isn't he so cute? He got me flowers, but I also got this candle. I just got it today. It was in yesterday's vlog where we kind of did like a last minute shopping vlog. Of, I just wanted to like do little touches around the house. This candle's from Home Sense. I love the big fat candles. Her. Amazing. I just know everyone's gonna be triggered by your feet on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I clean the counter, okay? It just is my feet is on it. <laughs> I clean it. it. It is clean very frequently. This is Blue's little area. Boo, come here. You want to see? Sit. Paw. 
Other paw. Circle. Sit. Down. Wait. Good girl. Oh, I said you good girl. Good job. But I literally just got this because Blue always spills her water when she's drinking. I swear, I don't know what is. You're in the splash zone when you're in this area. So if she has her water bottle, her food. She has kibble most of the time, but a lot of the times I try to give her this like gently cooked food. She's obsessed with it. She loves it. She never eats all of her kibble, but she always eats her gently cooked food like right away. Open farm. I've done videos with them before. But this is just from Home Sense. I'm pretty sure this is from Home Sense too. Over here is the backyard. I don't know if I should show. That should be a separate video, but we I have. Think that should be separate. <laughs> We have the garage over here. We have a little balcony and um, the barbecue is hooked up over there. We just got it hooked up. Here's all of the kitchen. So we have our microwave. We have an extra oven. I've never used this. Isn't that weird? Oh my god, I've an never, I've oven. never, it's never even crossed my mind I know. to use that one. I know, me either. It's never even, I've never used it. But I think, I was talking to my mom and my dad about it. They're like, oh, it's for like when you're hosting and you want to like put the turkey in here and then you want to put the veggies in there. I'm like, that's too much. That's crazy. But we have an extra oven in here. We have a microwave. It's really crazy because there's not a lot of drawer or cupboard Cupboards. space. Isn't that weird? So I obviously have like all my stuff. This is random stuff. Don't look in here. It's really crazy. I keep all of my plates and everything in here, in the drawers. It feels weird because you're used to being in a kitchen and like opening it from a cabinet, but there's no cabinet room anywhere. So I got it all in here. Here's all of the plates. And then we have all, oh no, we have all our forks and knives and everything. I like the gold. These straws hit. They hit. Hits. When you have a mason jar, put ice cold water, this straw. Oh my god, it hits. I've convinced all my friends to buy these f***ing straws. I bought it because of Nikki. Nikki's the one that convinced me to get it, but drinking out of a glass straw feels like luxury. And this is like only a couple bucks on Amazon. And I'm pretty sure I got these on Amazon too, all the gold cutlery. I also have like the, this one's a little scary. All of our measuring cups. Here's, it's more aesthetic when it's like this. It was full at one point. All of our coffee pods. We <laughs> want like Chamberlain coffee. All of the coffees, all of the teas, throat coat, Miss Ariana Grande made us get everything that you need. Matcha, matcha, all right here. This is our coffee machine. We use it every day, that's why it's kind of messy. I'm sorry, I tried to clean as much as I could before the house tour, but we couldn't clean everything. This is the Keurig that we use, paper towels. Down here, Woo! Here's all of the like mason jars and the mugs. Like this is my favorite mug. It's a little butt. It's from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> oh my god, I want to show my favorite ones. We also got this donut one. I forget where this one is from. I think it's from Home Sense. You know when you go snowboarding? I you know, I've never seen that one. You know when you go snowboarding and you can like paint your own mug? Yeah. So I did this so long ago. This is blue. I painted it. Aww. Isn't it cute? That's really it's really cute. cute. And then on the inside it says Bebop. I made it, but it's so cute. I made it when I think everyone else was like snowboarding or something. I had a pass, so I was like, I snowboard a lot. So we did this. I like it when you make things for your home. I feel like you would just make some more homey. And then all of my like to-go containers for meal prep or whatever. Here's Blues. <laughs> I have all of her treats and her medication. Don't look at her medication. She's medicated. Just kidding, she's not. That was just when she had her like little surgery because she ate a corn cob. That was traumatic. I know. I was sobbing because I, I was like, nothing matters. I literally, nothing matters without blue. But here's her little kibble, her treats. She has more pride. You know, I always wanted to teach her how to do the little button. You know the, the dogs on TikTok, how they know the buttons and they're like, mom, outside. We have a dishwasher. Don't judge me, I didn't do the dishes. I am gonna do the dishes later today, but I just wanted to do this video before the sun goes down. Here's where I keep all of my sneaky snacks. I don't even know if I wanna put that in the video because I like to just keep my sneaky snacks in there. I love, 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 cannot emphasize enough. I love this stove. This stove is a, I'm pretty sure it's wolf. Er, a wolf oven slash stove. The red knobs make me so horny. All that I think about is the red knobs and it just like gets me aroused a little bit. Oh my God, this is my favorite stove ever. And I feel like I've always seen it on Pinterest. It's always been my dream. And I, I, I feel like when I was younger, I'd always dream of like, what weirdly, does anybody else dream of this? When I was younger, I always dreamed of having A, a marble shower and B, a wolf stove. Do you ever have like a dream house and you wanted one specific thing? I especially wanted a dog. I feel like I wanted a really cool tree house. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted a really cool treehouse. What if we... No, do you know what I used to dream of? What? Having one of those swinging beds. Oh, yeah. Or a water bed. Yes. <laughs> but 
now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, Waterbed doesn't sound that fun. No. It feels like it would give you back problems. And also, like, doing stuff, if I feel like it would just, like... Yeah. And I, I still think the swing bed could be kind of fun, though. Yeah, the swing bed does sound kind of sick. But here's where we keep our oven mitts, everything, Ziploc bags, aluminum, everything like that. Look, I have this little cute one. I like to go to the little Asian markets. This is aluminum foil. It's a pink one. Are you kidding me? I also had a little saran wrap, but I think we used it all. Oh, no, here. These little plastic bags. Um, this is the garbage. Here's my medicine cabinet. It's really satisfying if you don't look at this. How cute Wait, is that? Wait, what is that? It's just like all the tape oh. and like random stuff. <laughs> but I love my medicine cabinet. She's always stocked. So if anything is ever wrong, we always have it. This is just like random protein, milk. We have a lot of protein bars. A lot of Alani. And then all these towels. Here is medicine. This is just a random drawer. Batteries. Look at this tart. Remember when tart would give out PR packages? Uh, this is like a little tart apron. Also, look at this. This is so Canadian. Maple gold maple syrup dessert wine. It just doesn't fit on the wine rack, but how cute. And then, did I show this? This one is all my pink little appliances. Because I'm a fucking woman with my own fucking house, so I buy pink everything. We have all the pots and pans. I had to splurge on William's Sonoma. I'm so obsessed with it. I used to have these rose gold ones, but they got up. I don't know what it is. The silver ones are just like the ones to go with. Oh, don't look at that. <laughs> That's my favorite drawer. Don't look at that. That didn't happen. All of our cheese boards. I used to have, I don't know where it went. I used to have my own garden and I would have my own garden over here. What is it called? A smart garden? But I don't know where we put it. This is for Christmas. <laughs> for all the Christmas cookies. I have a lot of my Christmas stuff up there too for storage. And then, oh, here's my little garden. A click and grow garden. I'm pretty sure Murad sent this to me. So thank you, Murad. And just random other stuff. We have a fridge. It's not cute right now. It's not organized. <laughs> I want to do a fridge tour when it's actually aesthetic, but it's not right now because I didn't do grocery shopping. I didn't do anything. Woo That's all that you get. But normally I try to make it as aesthetic and like cute. My dad knows this like one vegetable fruits and vegetable place. He always gets his fruits and vegetables there. We haven't got to go any grocery shopping or anything. Here's all the frozen stuff. We have our Ben and Jerry's. Oh, also, I was FaceTiming my friend. You know Americans don't call these pogos? Wait, what? Yeah, they call them corn dogs. I call them both. <laughs> yeah. Like both make sense, but it's a pogo. I like, I showed my friend and, and they were like, uh, pogo? I was like, yeah, it's called a pogo. If you want a pogo, you say, I want a pogo. But it's a pogo, it's a corn dog. Always Ben and Jerry's, always dumplings, always Texas toast always this is kind of like my little pantry you know how people have like welcome to my pantry well this is this is my pantry it's a little pantry and i try to keep it as organized as i can but not the giant box <laughs> just like on top look at it without it this is my seaweed let me put it under here that's all seaweed my seaweed snacks oh my god i love seaweed you can eat seaweed with everything so up here i have all my cereals here i have like my rice i have a lot of snacks i love brooks and Kinder Surprise, hockey, a lot of random snacks. Oh my god, I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> Can we make it tonight? <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, let's make it tonight. Cheetos and mac and cheese, flaming hot Cheetos. I'm so excited. <laughs> Here's all the spices. We have our sprinkles for our Wonder Bra. And then here is all my pastas. If there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I have pastas to last us for a f***ing week, so. Man, I went to the sauces though. A lot of them are expired. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought sauces don't get expired. I don't know. I used one of the sauces and I was like, oh, it's expired. She okay, Google. Care. Okay, Google. Do pasta sauces really expire? Maybe it's just a suggestion. Is it just Suggestion. <laughs> Spaghetti sauce will generally stay at best quality for about 12, 12 to 18, 18 months. months, although it will usually remain safe to use after that. It's normally safe yeah, to use after suggestion. that. So if it's a if it's a zombie apocalypse, it's safe to use. All of my pasta, I love pasta. And then here's all of my canned foods. All I'm saying, I love preparing the zombie apocalypse. Watch out, I'm prepared. We're gonna last like one month. <laughs> um, and then up here, I don't wanna get chair and like get it, but a lot of that is my Christmas, like whatever I wanna host, or like um, we have this turkey baker, like all the Christmas decorations all are up there. Wait, I wonder if I'm tall enough to reach. Are you? <laughs> I'm so close. <laughs> You can see it's like all the what do you call it? Like little yeah. stands, red oh. solo cups, hosting, a hosting. <laughs> <laughs> I want to add more to this. I want to add. Is it bad if I add tequila to a wine rack? Add eight one eight. That'd be kind of cute. That would be. 
Like, I don't know. I do love rosé. Rosé is my favorite. It's my go-to. It's, oh, it's so good. But I do love doing a little pre-game here. And for a pre-game, you want the gila. We literally have a pink Whitney in there, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over the place. Oh my god, not my ex giving you that one. <laughs> oh, oh. She's still there. She's <laughs> not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, any who's all? Here is the, let me move. Here is the living area. I am so happy with how this turned out because I didn't want just like white. And I feel like this is why I wanted to work with a designer because I wanted to be able to have like a nice modern space, but also have it colorful and have it fun and have it young and have it just not like everyone else's. Restoration hardware, everything, you know, everything is just like perfect and white and like black and white and neutral. Blech. You, that's disgusting. Over here, this is actually my grandma and grandma was piano and then it was passed down to my dad and then it was passed down to me my dad actually painted it yellow for me <laughs> but i think it's so cute for the space it's it adds a huge pop of color without being crazy because you guys remember my old house where all of the walls were yellow oh that was crazy that was so crazy <laughs> in order to sell that house we had to paint all the walls white to just sell it because no one would take the house if it was a yellow wall. But this piano was brought down for my family, so that's why it's so special to me. We never tune it, but I think that it's fine. Can you play anything? Yeah. <coughs> play yellow. <laughs> this is the only one I know. actually looking at a grand piano but this one is just so much more special when it comes from your family it's passed down and I just love the accent um I got this book from benefit when we went to Tokyo and I don't know why it's not piano or anything we have all of our piano books Ooh, Ooh. what a lovely noise Ooh, music to my ears um all of our, I have no idea where our, all of our piano books are I think it could be in a, a box somewhere. But I just thought that this looked cute with the piano. It's a Louis Vuitton e-boy Tokyo book when we went to Tokyo. It's just cute. And I felt like it just looked good here. All of these Frenchies, I'm pretty sure, are from Amazon. I love the Frenchies. This one's from HomeSense. This one is from my grandma and grandpa. I also wanted to make this area, the living area, super homey. So I was like, how do I make it homey? How do I make it me? So I got all of these pictures of me, my brother, my sister, all my family, and we blew them up and I printed them and I put them all up on the wall. I love it. It feels like my camera roll, like an old camera roll, just like scrolling through your phone. But the picture frames, believe it or not, are from Ikea. And I just blew up the pictures from, um, I think Walmart, I printed it out at Walmart. And I love how it turned out. It's, I just did it all black and white and I love the frame with it but this is what it looks like I love it look at oh! Wait, this one's cute I keep looking at this one <laughs> I was obsessed with gymnastics and I, I had my birthday party at a gym. Oh my god, I had a birthday party at a gym too. Really? <laughs> and my favorite ice cream was um, the Dairy Queen ice cream. You're Did the you? same. Really? You're literally the same. <laughs> Disneyland, me, my brother, my sister. My dad had an RV. I'm so sad we sold it, but we had so many good memories. We traveled all throughout the US in that RV. Me and my brother, me and my brother and my sister, me at my gymnastics birthday party. Oh my god, that's one of those photos. You know the, the photos that everyone takes with their family, like with the, the studio background, and mm -hmm. you're like, yeah. And it's so sage. That's what we did. We, we do that every year. I feel like that's not really a thing as much anymore. I want to do that with our friend group. <laughs> that'd be kind of fun, actually. We, with, like, I really... think there's one in um, Venice. Like, the classic, like, studio yeah. background. Yeah. We all wear, like, white shirt and jeans. Yeah. So I think that we should do that. And then me at ballet. Look at my little tummy. I'm in the middle. I'm like, you're like, what? Oh. <laughs> it was a jump scare when I put the camera down. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that this mirror I got for a seal. Do you see? I can't even take off the thing. I've literally tried. I've tried everything to take off the. Wait, really? I was off. looking at it earlier. I was no, like, it won't take come off. off. It won't come off, but I got it for a seal. Guess how much it was? No, you, you know what you have to try? You have to put water on it and scrub it. Oh, I need to do that. Or you I, can use a hair dryer too. 
and that heats it up and then the stickiness like goes away. Yeah, I need to do that. But guess how much this mirror was? Look how big it is. Wait, so it's a steal? It was a good price? It was a good price. A hundred and twenty. Two hundred dollars. Okay, that's still a good price. <laughs> like, this is, I don't know, all of my other mirrors, like the anthropology mirror was kind of a splurge. Like it was really expensive, but this mirror was two hundred dollars. I think you're supposed to put an art piece in this one, but I just did it. I'm pretty sure that these are from Wayfair. Pretty sure that these are from Wayfair. And then this little love seat. What is this called? Love shack. La la love shack. I don't know what this is, but I'm pretty sure this is from Wayfair. I got these pillows. A lot of them are random. This one's actually from Ikea. <laughs> we love Ikea in this household. <laughs> but only the pieces that you would never expect. That house plant, I'm pretty sure it's from Amazon. Same with, I think that one is from HomeSense. Why is there rings everywhere? Rings? Yeah. What do you mean? I just put away so many rings. Someone's hiding rings Wait. in my f***ing house. Oh, it was probably for the, the party that was here. <laughs> the bachelorette? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> but we have the ring. Honestly, that says where everything is from. Um, I'm gonna Google it. Sorry, one second. <laughs> if you want this lamp, it's Floor lamp dory. That's how I found it. And then we have this marble slab just on the back of the couch. I just think that this is cute just to have like a little thing in bob. Put the remote here. Put your condoms here. Put your condoms? What? I don't know. I also, I got this little piece from the thrift store. You can get a lot of cute little trinket, trinkets, trinkets, trinkets from the thrift store. A lot of my cute little trinkets are from the thrift store. I did it with the Sorry Girls and we can fill up an entire like shelf with thrift store items. I'm actually surprised that that's from the thrift store. That's Really it was cute. probably like five bucks because like if you were to get this at like restoration hardware You know, they'd be selling this for like 50 bucks. I thought or it more. Been, like I was picturing it from home sense for yeah. like $30. Yeah No, it's from the thrift store. The, thr the thrift store comes in clutch for small little items And then a lot of people actually asked me about this painting too. So I actually painted it myself Oh. Everyone says I feel like I should add you know the little glaze You know when people like put a little glaze over their paintings mm -hmm. I want to do that for this one to make it shiny true, you that know good. I always watch the tiktoks where they put the glaze over their paintings like as the final touch and it just mm -hmm. makes it pop so much more But I grew up as an artist. I was an art kid when I was younger So I would paint all the time. And I love painting and then a the teacher ruined it for me So I never painted again until recently and I really like it and I wanted something that's pink and colorful and beautiful And I don't know. I also just feel like like having your own artwork whether you're good at art or whether you're bad makes the house so much more homey and it's so much it's like such a flex to be like I did it myself I don't know <laughs> now over here this is the main living area parkour Ta-da! Oh my god, this is my baby. When we had the house viewing for this house, I was like, I know what I want in this house. I want a restoration hardware cloud couch in this house. Because, you know, in my old house, I would always be like, oh, I'm just gonna like get a temporary one if I really want the cloud couch because it's a really big splurge. I'll just like get it after. But one thing that I learned from getting houses or moving apartments or anything, if you want something, don't cheap out. Because my old couch, I got rid of it and that was a complete waste of, I think, it was $800. Um, all of the old stuff that I didn't really want that I got the dupes of ended up, I ended up just like getting rid of it or like throwing it away and then it was just like a waste of money. So I, whenever I would decorate anything, I would say decorate it slowly and get the pieces that you actually do want. Don't cheap out because it's your home and you want to like feel like home and you don't want to cheap out on anything. And a lot of the time you might just end up getting what you actually want. But I love this couch. Blue always sits here and she sunbathes. The curtains are closed right now because privacy reasons <laughs> But she always sunbeats here. This is her new spot. Mm. Pillows, I literally just got them today. They're all these pillows. They're all from HomeSense. HomeSense is only in Canada. You guys, what do they have in the US? They have like home, they have a lot of those home stores where you know the home stores that they have all of the pillows and all the stuff. This is from HomeSense, it's in Canada. And I got a lot of the pink ones to match with the painting. And I just love it. I love how big they are. They love the fluffy one. Of course, I had to get a blanket. Oh. I'm, I'm wondering though, like, would it be cuter if I got an orange or do you like the black? Because the black kind of like. Oh, I like the black. Fat. Yeah. I mean, orange would be too much, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. The rug, I really love. It's all rainbow and it kind of just like ties everything together. I feel like a good rug can tie in your whole space. Like before those chairs, like the little Sherpa chairs didn't have that rug and I feel like it looked kind of random, but putting a rug underneath just made it its own space and I feel like it just makes it its own space. This rug is from West Elm and I love it so much. It just like wrinkles up a lot and I do have to vacuum so don't judge that, but that's how it is. Uh, we have this cute 
huge coffee table. And I feel like having huge furniture makes your place seem so much bigger. I used to always just film my stuff with like small furniture thinking that it'll make my house seem bigger, but it does the opposite. When you have small furniture, I feel like it makes your space looks small. So all these big furniture pieces, I feel like makes the house seem bigger. And then we just have some like coffee table books. We have this like Vogue, Living House Gardens, Chanel one from Amazon. This little plant, I'm pretty sure from Home Sense. And then we just got this. Ducking high, these questions will get you high. It's just like a card game. Sometimes we have, you know, the card games that are like, you know, drink, whatever. Sometimes you just want to have a chill night. Sometimes you just want to sit back, relax, and sit on your couch and watch a movie and play some like card games and just stay home. These black little, look at they swivel. These black little swivelly chairs. They have the gold to match all of the other gold accents. This is from Wayfair and the um, pillows are from Ikea. We have them on either side of the fireplace. One thing though, that's a little bit scary about this house. I don't know if we could ever turn this fireplace on. It's a little scary. I think that it might burn the house down. We've never used it. And I've had people look at it and they're like, yeah, your fireplace is a little bit scary. I wouldn't use it if I were you. So I think we have to get it fixed. Oh. <laughs> we just tried to eat a fly. Like it's right there, it's behind you, right here. <laughs> <laughs> also, this throw blanket is from Victoria's Secret Pink. You know what they have their like holiday sales? Here is um where I keep all my awards. Just have them out, out and about, that way you can see them. I have like my pictures of me, my friend Haley, me, Andre and Meg, my sick kids donation, my two plaques. My main channel, which I'm gonna be turning into my podcast channel, so stay tuned. Remember Cookie Monster, and then Adeline's camera roll, and then we have the Nick Space Awards. I won Kinetic first year, and then I actually won the next year. Um, and then we have my little booty. I got like a Brampton Award, cause that's like where I'm from, Brampton, and like they just gave me an award. They pronounced my name completely wrong. They didn't even, I don't even think they fully said my name. They said something else, but I just, I went up and I collected it, and I was like, thank you. We have a lot of the, the decor. A lot of this is from the thrift store, but but a lot of it is also from Home Sense. This little candle, I'm obsessed. This is the bisexual in me. How cute is this? This is so cute. I think I got this from Anna is Candles. I'll link it down below. I'll link everything down below if you guys really want. But this is this little area. We also have a lot of storage, but I don't really have anything in here. We just plug in the Furbo. There's nothing really in there. And then over here, this is the TV. I wasn't sure if I should put the TV up in the middle. Cause I was like, oh, if you're over there, if you're sitting on the couch, then you're not gonna see it as much, but it pulls out. So I feel like it's fine. I kind of got used to it being the side. I don't know if it's necessarily good to be in the middle, but it's kind of growing on me and I kind of like it. I also have just got this today. A karaoke machine. Oh. So I, I googled it. Apparently, Filipinos didn't create karaoke. It was the Japanese, but Filipinos have the trademark. So, technically, we created karaoke. I mean, my family love karaoke. My grandpa has a karaoke machine. I got so jealous. I was like, Grandpa, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to buy a karaoke machine because it's so fun at your house. So I got this one, and we can just put up like karaoke videos on the TV on YouTube. But and then we have blues toys are all under here. You hear that toy? You hear that? You want your toy? <laughs> <laughs> this is all of her toys. They're all under here. She has a lot of Christmas ones. We just keep them all here. You want this one? You want it? The last part. I feel like we've been recording for like an hour. We really have. <laughs> the last part of the main living area. This is the main living area. Bath. Room. I'm going crazy. We've been filming for so long. This is, I think, one of my favorite bathrooms. Every single bathroom has a different style to it. Like, my bathroom's all marble. Your bathroom's, like, kind of that, um... It's, like, normal. <laughs> no, it's, like, it has that, like, that tile. Yeah. Like, Mexican tile mm -hmm. with, like, white accents. I don't know. Every single bathroom is different. Even mm -hmm. my dad's downstairs in the basement is really different, too. <laughs> but this one, I think, is my personal favorite. Maybe besides my marble. I also love the one, though, that's attached to your makeup room. Oh! Oh, that one's like all black. Yeah. Yeah. But this one's really cute. I think it's just cute to have guests over. It's like a very like flexy, like, uh, take a selfie. Uh, it's kind of cute. I love the gold wallpaper and the gold accents in the mirror. We have the gold hardware, which I love. The little marble. Uh, and then obviously just the toilet <laughs> but oh my god i feel like we've been talking for so long this is the final house tour i hope that you guys enjoyed it the living room upstairs downstairs dining room kitchen everything i hope that you enjoyed and if you haven't already then make sure to subscribe because you know i try to vlog as much as i can and we have so much to decorate upstairs i'm doing my master bedroom and i'm also doing my makeup room and my glam room or my like shoe room oh just wait till you see that you have to wait but this is like the main living area make sure that you're subscribed also follow me on tiktok
because I'm trying to post every single day on TikTok and my house went viral on TikTok, so make sure that you're following me. And Blue also has an Instagram. It's my Frenchie named Blue. If you guys want to check it out, pa! But anyways, we love you guys and thank you so much for watching. I am going to eat a big fat burger right now. I'm hungry. I love you guys. Bye. Have a beautiful month.